Hey everybody, it's Linda again, and I am in our signature kitchen because it is sous vide week. So I am going to go ahead and sous vide a tenderloin. So I'm gonna start this off a little differently. Um, this is heating up right now, but I'll talk about where my tenderloin is to start. I purchased this, trimmed off all the silver skin and extra fat and seasoned it with, I use Montreal steak seasoning, but just a little salt and pepper is fine. Um, you wanna make sure that you dry it off completely, let it get, let all that salt and pepper kinda just soak right into the meat. Um, I usually let it rest like this for about two hours at room temperature, and I do that even if I'm not doing the asugi. But um, today, a little different, I'm gonna actually do a reverse sear on this. So I'm gonna go ahead and heat up my skillet with a little olive oil. And we're gonna sear the meat before it goes in the sous vide. And I'm gonna sear this for about one minute to two minutes per side. So I'm gonna get a nice crust on there, but you don't really wanna cook your meat. So sous vide means to cook under a vacuum. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna cook this tenderloin at a low temperature, 135 degrees, for about two to two and a half hours. It's gonna be sealed in this vacuum bag, so all of its juices and everything will stay with it, and it'll cook evenly throughout. When we're all done, you'll have a chance to see what it looks like finished. So, next step is to get everything ready. I've got two tablespoons of butter here. I've got two cloves of garlic that I've sliced up, and I'm gonna throw some rosemary sprigs in as well. To put it in the vacuum sealer, I wanna make sure that I have pushed out, I like to push out as much air as possible and make sure that there's a good size gap, usually two to three inches between the food and the end of the bag. And I wanna make sure that this little drip tray is in place if you have one of these Food Saver food sealers because that's gonna collect any juices that get sucked out in the vacuum sealing process. You'll see the power light comes on and then I'm going to hit my vacuum seal button. So I preheated my sous vide to 135 earlier today. So that is all set, and I am going to go ahead and place my vacuum sealed bag right in there. Cover this up, and come back and check on it in two hours. So it looks like it has been about two and a half hours or so. We are going to pull this beautiful tenderloin out of the sous vide bath. So I'm gonna turn this off. I'm going to very carefully lift the bag right out onto my tray over here. Dump this right out of the bag onto the tray. Because we seared this ahead of time, the outside is a little brown, um, but we're gonna go ahead and give it another sear at this point, and that will brown the rest of it up. This is really nice, it heats up super quick because it is induction, so I am just gonna go ahead and put this right up on the griddle. And you can hear that sizzle. We're gonna let that cook for about two minutes. And then I'm gonna flip it over and give it two minutes on the other side. So we've got this beautiful piece of meat. It is nice and seared and crispy on the outside. Looks beautiful. I am gonna actually give it a little foil tent for the next few minutes or so because we're not quite ready to eat. So it'll rest, it'll stay warm, and I will slice it when we're ready to eat. All right, so while that's resting, just wanted to reiterate how easy it is to work with the sous vide here on the True to Food range from Signature Kitchen. Um, if you have any questions about sous vide or any of the products that you've seen here today or anything else that we can help you with at camp, feel free to give us a call or stop by. We're happy to help you out.